The next article I want to look at is by the New York Times. It's entitled, West Virginia Lawmaker Among Those Who Stormed the U.S. Capitol. And obviously, this one's a little close to my heart because I live in West Virginia currently. I may not live here forever, not even for the next year, but I live here now, and that's why this is important to me. The representative's name who was involved was Derek Evans, and I was surprised to find I'd covered him before. I covered him on the the podcast through a Friendly Atheist article by Hemant Mehta. The title was, Anti-WV House Candidate Has Restraining Order for Stalking Women. So let me give you just kind of a brief overview of what happened. If you're really curious about the whole thing, you can go check the clip on my channel. But basically what happened was this guy was going to the only women's clinic in West Virginia, in the capital of Charleston, West Virginia. And he was harassing women who were going into the women's clinic. Uh, bear in mind, this women's clinic, it, it does more than just... They do all kinds of stuff there. They do ultrasounds and, and all kinds of other shit. So the fact that he was just like harassing random people is kind of fucked up and pointless but he ended up getting a restraining order filed on him because you know they didn't want him harassing people anymore and big surprise he violated the restraining order evans was found by a kanawha county magistrate which is where charleston is kanawha county last year to have engaged in stalking and made repeated credible threats of bodily injury to a woman who worked at the women's health center in charleston it's the state's only facility to offer services. Nine days after he was served, Evans violated that restraining order, leading to an extension that does not expire until December 31st, 2020. Well, guess what? That's expired now, isn't it? Court documents provided by one victim's attorney show County Magistrate Joseph L. Shelton granted the order, saying Evans made credible threats and engaged in stalking as defined by West Virginia State Code. Evans was ordered by the courts to stay away from the victim, including her place of work. Holy shit, dude. But nine days after being served, Evans showed back up at the Women's Health Center. When Charleston police officers responded to a call that Evans was violating a restraining order by being at the center, he gave them false information about the court order. And then went on to become a congressman for the state of West Virginia. Yes, this man, ladies and gentlemen, is a congressman for West Virginia. Not only that, he was caught at the riots at the Capitol this week this past week. So this article is by the New York Times. Let's give it a read and see what it says. This is written by Campbell Robertson. A newly elected lawmaker from West Virginia was among the mob of Trump supporters who stormed the United States Capitol on Wednesday, filming as he stood among the crowd outside a door, rushed with them inside, and then wandered through the halls along with the scores of others who had breached the building. The lawmaker, Derek Evans, posted the video to his Facebook page genius idea where he goes by Derek Evans the activist on Wednesday afternoon but he later deleted it wise decision let me give you a piece of advice old buddy if you're going to break the law turn your phone off while you do it seems like a really fucking bad idea to live stream you breaking the law dumbass Mr. Evans, who was elected as a Republican state delegate in November, posted several videos from the events of the day, both narrating and joining in Stop the Steel Chants with throngs of other Trump supporters. Let me just explain how this works, because I know I have some Jehovah's Witnesses or ex-Jehovah's Witnesses in the audience who didn't grow up around politics, who don't know anything about it, because I didn't know anything about it until recently. We have three branches of government, right? We've got the... We've got Congress... We've got the Supreme Court, or the judicial branch, and we have the executive branch, which covers the presidency, right? Congress is split up into the House of Representatives and the Senate. Two senators per state, so a total of 100 senators right now, unless we add more. The House of Representatives is split up a little bit differently, though. We have, I think, 538 House members total from all different states. It's based on how many people you have in your state. So California naturally has like a billion House of Representatives members. And West Virginia, I think, only has three, right? Plus the two senators. That's considered all of our Congress. Well, it, it breaks down further on the state level. So those are our federal 
representatives. We have federal senators and federal House members. And then on the state level, we have the same kind of thing where it's split up into uh, counties, I believe. So Derek Evans, this representative, he, he was a state level congressman, I believe a, a state level House of Representatives for West Virginia. Um, he was a far lower level than our federal uh, House members. But anyway, that's how it works. So let's keep reading and see what else this has to say. Mr. Evans, who was elected as a Republican state delegate in November, posted several videos from the events of the day, both narrating and joining in Stop the Steal chants with throngs of other Trump supporters. In the video that was deleted, he's among a crowd that shoved up against a door at the Capitol's east front, some chanting and others loudly singing the national anthem. Those at the front door appear to be trying to get inside while Mr. Evans gives a running commentary on the attempts. Make no mistake, these people are terrorists. That's what they are. There is no other word for this. And the fact that they're running around singing the national anthem and saying the Pledge of Allegiance and talking about patriotism and loving your country, all that shit has been permanently linked in my mind with terrorist organizations now. The national anthem is permanently linked in my mind as a terrorist organization's war cry, if you will, or battle song. Seriously, think about how sad that is. The fact that it, uh, an organization like this has picked up the patriotic symbols of your country, and every time you hear that shit now, you think about them. That's wrong. That's really sad. Really disappointing. Let's keep reading. We're going in, he says, at one point turning the camera to show himself wearing a helmet. What a fucking idiot. Suddenly the crowd moves quickly and the crowd rushes in. One woman screaming, we did it. And Mr. Evans shouting, Derek Evans is in the Capitol. You idiot. Oh my God. This guy is an idiot. Seriously. What... <laughs> How did he manage to win a state Congress seat? He is such a moron. What was he thinking? Let's keep reading. What follows is a tour through the main floor of the Capitol, passing through the rotunda and the hall of statuary, filming scores of other Trump supporters who had stormed in ahead of him and appear unsure of what to do next. Some are posing with statues and others are filming themselves on their phones. Chants of Trump and freedom break out. Mr. Evans yells several times to the people milling around not to commit any vandalism. They've already broken a law. They've already broken a law. They broke into this place and entered it against the law. This is like felony level shit in some cases. Committing vandalism is the least of their worries at this point. Seriously. And they were armed. You're not allowed to have weapons in that, that building. He yelled several times to people milling around not to commit any vandalism, insisting this is our house and we respect it. What a weirdo. To one man who appears to be a Capitol security officer, he says, God bless you, sir. We still respect you. Adding that there was nothing personal about what they were doing. Another officer asks him and a group of others to head to the exit, a directive that he ignores. Patriots inside, baby, he shouts. What is wrong with this guy? There is co there's commotion far down a hallway, and someone tells Mr. Evans that some people are trying to break into one of the chambers. He turns away and walks down the hall, shouting, Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're in here right now. Who thought this was going to happen today? He then tries to start a chant of USA, USA, as the video ends several minutes later, and he appears to be looking for an exit. In a statement on Facebook on Wednesday evening, Mr. Evans said that he has traveled across the country to film many different events, and that earlier he had the opportunity to film at another d event in D.C. Oh, he's just a traveling uh, reporter, right? He's just there to kind of see what's happening. He wasn't a Trump supporter or anything, right? What a fucking moron, dude. This guy is in neck deep, and he knows it. Oh my god, he's so stupid. There's more to the story, though. There's more to this story, so let's finish this out, and I'll get to it. I want to assure you all that I did not have any negative interactions with law enforcement, nor did I participate in any destruction that may have occurred, he wrote. I was simply there as an independent member of the media to film history. Oh, yeah. I bet. I bet that's what you were doing. The Speaker of the West Virginia House of Delegates, Roger Hanshaw, said in a statement on Wednesday night, 
that he had not spoken to Delegate Evans about today's events, though he said he saw what was posted on social media. He added that storming government buildings and participating in a violent, intentional disruption of one of our nation's most fundamental political institutions is a crime that he should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Good point. I agree. So guess what? There is a little bit more to this story. There's a video that goes along with this, and I just want you guys to watch. Watch this shit. Anything you want to say on his behalf? He's a fine man. No. And thank you, Mr. Trump, for inviting a ride at the, at the White House. And you're his grandmother? I'm his grandmother. She does not sound happy about the situation. He is not a fine man. He's a piece of trash, as evidenced by what he did on January 6th. We watched what type of man he was. The entire world did. We don't need his grandmother telling us how good he is. We know he's not. It, it was presented to me that this is Derek Evans being arrested right here. That's, that's what I was... That's what I was told. That's supposed to be him. Obviously, it's hard to tell because he's wearing a hoodie and everything. But he appears to be white and he appears to be male, if that tells us anything. I guess there, you know, there aren't very many other distinguishing features among the other rioters at the, uh, at the Capitol building. This was one of the most glorious things I watched. So here's the question. What happens now? Does he continue to be a congressman? Does he get to stay in office? Being a felon does not preclude you from running for office or winning a seat in office in most cases. The president can be a felon. You can run for the presidency and be a felon. But in many cases, in many states, you can't vote for the president if you're a felon. Kind of ass backwards if you ask me. Ultimately, though, it doesn't really matter because Derek Evans resigns West Virginia House after entering U.S. Capitol with mob. Look at this shit-eating grin on this guy's face. Derek Evans, facing federal charges for entering the U.S. Capitol with a mob, has resigned from West Virginia's House of Delegates. I hereby resign as a member of the House of Delegates, effective immediately, Evans said in a one-page letter submitted to Governor Jim Justice in the House. The House released another statement from Evans expressing regret. Well, it's a little late for regret, isn't it? Maybe try not participating in an insurrection on the United States government next time, and you won't need to feel any regret over that, right? Honestly, I never felt the need to participate in an insurrection in my life. Never occurred to me. I always tried to work within the system instead of without the system. I don't know what this guy was thinking or what he was doing, but he wasn't using his head, I can tell you that. I'm just glad to see the guy gone, honestly.